Okay. All right, I think we're live. Um, let's just wait for everyone to join. Um, for those who uh, are not familiar with me and are new to the channel, my name is Andrew. Um, I am a part-time eBay reseller, and I also run the moneymental.co.uk website, as well as the Money Mental UK YouTube channel that you're watching me on now. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few pickups, a uh, few items that I picked up from an um, indoor car boot sale that I went to today, and a couple of items I picked up from the charity shops uh, afterwards. Um, I'll just give it a minute or two for people to join, and I'll make sure that I've got the live chat on, because for some reason it defaults to top chat. Hello, Scooby Shaggy. Looks like we've got some, some people coming in. South London Me Seller, hello, South London Me Seller, welcome. Um, just give it another minute or so for the notifications to go out. And wait for people to uh, to join us in the chat. Let's also bring up the eBay. As always, I am properly prepared for this, not at all. What have we got? We have four people. I think there may be some rugby on today, uh, which may mean that we don't get too many people. Something to do with the four nations, I believe. We'll be watching um, the uh, what they call it, the touchdowns. Right, yeah. I've just had a notification to say I'm live, so hopefully that'll go out for the people as well. Anyway, how is everyone today? It takes longer to type than it does for me to speak, doesn't it? Oh, we've got five people now. Uh, da -da. Who's got any sky get on sold listings? Hey, DBG, how are you? Oh, sorry to hear that, South London Me Seller. I hope you get better soon. Um, all right, I'll get started. So, absolutely terrible weather today. I've been, uh, I've had to battle snow, wind earthquakes fire all sorts of things to get to a car boot first one i went to there were no sellers there um so that was terrible and um, then i went second car boot i went to that was on with plenty of sellers but they just left all their stock out in the like the pouring wind and the rain so it was just like there was playstations and all sorts that were just getting rained on and i was like i can't do that hello Gemma Lou, good to have you with us so I'm like, yeah, I, I don't really want to be, uh, I don't really want to be buying anything um, that's got rained on. And like, there was stuff that was in cardboard boxes, and the boxes are just like ruined. And I just thought, no, I can't be bother with this. And then I remembered that Ads Robinson had said that there was an indoor car boot where Ads lives, and I wasn't too far away from where I was at the time. So I thought, right, I'll head down there um, to Ads Car Boot, uh, not that he runs it, but the indoor car boot near him. Got there at nine o'clock. There was already a queue. Didn't start until half nine. Joined the queue and managed to make a few pick, a few pickups. Um, nothing spectacular, but we'll go through what I've got, and uh, we'll we'll talk through hopefully what I uh, expect to um, receive for it. Um, right, okay. So first item I picked up, it's a Furby with a mind of its own apparently. Um, this is the purple Furby, he's not turned on thankfully. Hey Sue, good to have you with us. So yeah, picked up this Furby, um, paid up on that, that was £5, but I've sold one like this for £19.99 at Christmas. So I'm just going to hold on to that until Q4 and then uh, list that. I should get about £20 for that by then. So that's okay. Um, the 
because you know how much I love Furbies. I've then got another Furby, a Furby Furblin. Um, let's just get that. I've had this one before as well, um, which was sold last Christmas for twelve ninety nine. He was £1.50, so again, I was going to keep him until quarter four and sell him on. Um, yeah, nothing new on the chat. Um, then I've started selling beat board games recently, only sealed ones. So I picked up this for £2, actually two, not board games. Did I say board games? Jigsaws. Picked up these jigsaw puzzles. Um Two pounds are paid for these. Um, there was uh, there's obviously two in there, so I'm hoping I get about between twelve and fifteen pounds for that. Um, picked up another one, Crail Harbour. Uh, that was three pounds, but I'm hoping that will um, that will uh, go for about twelve ninety nine as well. Um, I'll ignore age messages there. Yeah, cute Furbies, yeah. I, I, I like the Furbies. They always uh they always uh go for um what was I gonna say, they always go for okay money. Um so yeah, got that. Um I picked up this guy because I recognized his face. Um he makes a sound. But I don't know who he is, and uh, there's no um, label to tell me who he is. So if anybody recognises this chap that's watching now, or is watching in the, uh, or is watching later on on the on the catch up, do please tell me, because otherwise I have to post a photo of him in the chat chat, and then that's just uh, likely to leave me open to abuse. Some jigsaws go well, yeah, jigsaws go okay for me. Um, I've been selling quite a few the last few weeks, so. I'm happy to pick them up. Not massive profits, but you know they're dead easy to to deal with once the, the sealed ones because there's not really that much that you can do. The jigsaw speaks for itself, really. Um, what else did I get? I got for a pound uh, this. Ooh, the camera's gone funny. Why is the camera gone funny? Focus. There we go. Uh, hey, Deal City, good to have you with us. I haven't gotten out of my PJs for today. Weather's so bad, snow and hailstones. Yeah, it's the same. How is the storage day unit getting on? Yeah, it's about half full now. Hi, Calvin Chris, good to have you with us. Um, the monkey looks like the one in Dora the Explorer. Maybe so, I don't know. I'm useless with those things. We'll find out. Uh, I got this chap. Uh, let's see if I can get him working. There were no Care Bears there, Carbert Chris, and I was in Norfolk, which was even closer to Manchester. It was so bad, I even considered coming to bowlers. There we go. There's my emu hand puppet. That's the one, yeah, Builder Bears. Cost a pound, um, so I'm hoping there's some, some money in him. Um, yeah, should be at least a tenner, I reckon, for him. I'm assuming it's a him anyway. I haven't really asked. Uh, oh, there's more plushes. These are all 50p each. I got. Um, no, I don't think it is Emu from Modern Emu. I think it's just a random sort of puppet. Um, oh, I've pressed the wrong button now. Hang on. I've lost you all. I got a Bambi plush. It was 50p. Um, I don't think there's much value in it on its own. It's a Disney Store official one, mind, but I think um, I don't think there's a lot of value in it. But it'll, it's good for bundling. No, no, not Lion King. No, Bambi, Bambi from um, whatever film Bambi's in. I, I assume it's Bambi. Yeah, the limited choices. I had to go plush crazy. I got the Gruffalo. I'm hoping he's worth some money. He was 50p. If he's not, I'll get a Gruffalo buck and bundle him with a buck. Um, uh, 
at Disney Store Mini Plus. Again, that was 50p. I'm hoping there'll be a few pounds in that. Hate plushies, by the way. Uh, this, this, this was a pound. Oh, I don't know why it's going. Why is it losing? Come on, focus on me. Come on, there we go. Um, this is a vintage Tommy uh, rabbit. Is it a rabbit? I think it's a rabbit. Cheerleader sort of bunny rabbit. Tommy the Get Along Gang from 1984. Um, that was a pound. Um, I'm hoping with its sort of vintageness. Vintageness? -ness? Is that a thing anyway? If it's vintage nature, that's worth some money. Um, but I haven't had a chance to look that up yet, so we'll find out. Uh, let's catch up the chat. Uh, Barty, stop it. The puppy's trying to get in. He's not allowed in because there's plushies here. He used to love plushies, but take up the screen for a small profit. Yeah, my problem as well. Sent a bing bag full of plushies to landfill. Dear me. And then I got this um, electronic monopoly. I have no idea how much this is worth. Um, it was two pounds. Um, she wanted four pounds for it. I negotiated 50% off. I'm just going to have a look now to see if I can. On, on the internet, um, I don't know why are they. Oh, there's nothing coming up there. Oh, there's one. There's one that went for twenty pounds there. Well, that's okay then. So yeah, potentially sort of twenty odd pounds. Got the instructions with it as well. So yeah, happy with that for two pounds. Um. Yeah, I never pick plushies normally either, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Um, focus. Um, got this new and sealed trains, um, railway simulator, cost a pound. Um, one of these did go for fourteen ninety seven before Christmas. Um, obviously we're post Christmas now, so I'm going to probably list this for nine ninety nine, including shipping. So we got I think that's it on the plushies. Oh no, more plushies. I got Swen. Hang on. Focus. Focus on Swen. Come on, camera, focus on. Ah, oh, this is annoying. They belong to my daughter and gone filthy and sticky all the years. That that's that's a great thing for me to say something inappropriate, but I won't do it. Um how is the storage unit? Yeah, it's, it's nearly half full now. Um, South London Mini Cellar. I've still got loads of stuff to put in it, but I'm starting to actually see space in my house now, which is good. Um, yeah, this is um, Sven. I sold one of these the other day for £10. So I was happy to pick this up for 50p. And I've actually got an Olaf from Frozen as well. Um, so I'm probably going to bundle these two together. They're 50p each. I'll bundle them together and hopefully get about £15 for those two. And then I thought this was quite interesting. This is a UNICEF, Le Temps, uh, poor UNICEF. So it's a French UNICEF bear. This was um, 50p as well. Um, couldn't find, there's a few UNICEF sort of bears and stuff that are sold, but I couldn't find this particular one sold. So I'm going to trade for a tenner on him. Uh, do do? I've got this. Oh, come on, focus. Here we go. This um, vase, uh, which is not my normal sort of pickup. Um, the lady said it was Victorian. Whether it is, I don't know, but it's definitely a vintage piece. It's by Black Kimmy. It's, it's um, Staffordshire Ironstone, anyway. So I know there's some money in that. Uh, it costs four pounds. Um, it's in good condition, really. A couple of scrapes here and there, which may have been as a result of me knocking it against the car door, to be fair. But yeah, it costs four pounds. Um, and I'm going to put that on some of the local Facebook vintage groups. And I'm going to try and get 15 for that. Um, maybe more. I might put it up slightly higher to start off with. But yeah, rather than shipping it, if I just put it on the um, the Facebook, 
and then um so he was interested in it got to do a bit of research around that band brand because obviously if, if the seller is right and it is victorian it's really 10 pounds for it originally but got it down to four then that's okay she had a mason's vase as well that was five pounds but there isn't much money in mason's vases these days not the not the small ones anyway so yeah got that but yeah you can tell i was sort of a little bit desperate for pickups and then i picked up these high-tech uh, boxed what are they sierra light original women's trainers only size four um but they have literally the, she said she'd only worn them a couple of times and looking at the quality of them i can uh, i can believe that so yeah they were four pounds fifty um should get about 20 to 25 for those um in the condition that they run especially as high tech's making a bit of a retro comeback so yeah happy with that um i think yeah that was everything from the indoor car boot so we spent about two three four fifty four eight. oh no there's one more thing uh has left it in the car there was a dinky um uh silver jubilee bus um boxed from 1977 cost me four pounds i thought it would be worth i thought it'd be worth at least 20. Uh, i've looked it up it's worth about 10. so not not a great purchase there but i'm going to list it for 20 anyway because there's always dinky collectors out there and it's a the sort of thing that you know it's not going to decrease in value if anything it's going to increase so i'm just going to leave, leave leave it listed at 20 and see what happens but yeah just imagine i'm holding a dinky um like silver jubilee bus now because you know this it's in the car hey becca good to have you uh yeah i still need to take those photos for your dpg or that uh that that um uh shirt dress that i picked up i have now picked up some ladies clothing um a jaeger dress shirt for the whole price of two pounds uh which i'm hoping is worth 20 but uh, i need some help from the ladies to help me with um you know listing it and everything and you know but it's going to go on manny the mannequin anyway it's a size 10 so hopefully manny won't prove too big get some nice pictures and hopefully i'll make some uh, money on that um hi becca good to have you with us i can't remember if i said hello becca already i, I don't know tired i've already fallen asleep watching uh, the grand tour his early start to kill me so yeah that's everything i picked up in the um in the uh, indoor car boot so yeah didn't spend didn't spend masses but hopefully i've made a reasonable enough profit to justify the outlay of going all that way um, then i went to the um charity shops in Northwich was a couple open and met a friend for breakfast um first one i picked up the charity shops this box i don't know if people will recognize the brand but this is a a west german brand from before the berlin wall was taken down um i mean they may still be going now but this is sort of a piece from about the 70s cost 3.99 and it's a beautiful um silver plated german sort of bowl thing here uh it's, it's in mint condition uh it doesn't look like it's ever actually been sort of used but we just stayed in the box got some original tissue paper and everything um and i could only find one of these sold on ebay but it, it sold for 25 pounds so i figured for 3.99 i'm going to pick that up hopefully get some money on that and then uh, a reseller favorite i've got the entire oh come on why why do you, you lose focus come on camera come on there we go a reseller favorite um if i can hold these up to the camera there we go look at that in high definition glory i got the full set of six of these um, they're a pound each so six pounds you know got the mushroom soup all the different soup flavors um and they were um yeah pound each so i paid six pounds and all and they're going for about 25 pounds including shipping uh do, do, do. you do, do. 
yeah, send me some rough snaps of it and I'll give you keywords such as, yeah, no worries, will do. I just need to work out how to send pictures on Instagram. Yeah, Corey sells a lot of these. Yeah, that's, um, I was thinking of Corey when I bought these. Um, I re donated them, got so fed up of looking at them. Is that these, Gemma Lou, or is that something else? But yeah, uh, happy to pick those up. They'll hopefully go well. Even. Well, I don't think they have that flavour, unfortunately, South London uh, reseller. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I just can't. Um, so, yeah, I got those. And then um, just to continue with the theme, another, go on, focus, sealed board game, a BBC Life is a Journey, a thousand piece African elephant puzzle. You redonate the salt bowls. Ah, no. I'm selling them. I'm going to get 25. I'll keep you updated on how they go, Gemma. Um, but yeah, they were three pounds. Three pounds for this sealed jigsaw again. So yeah, I'll hopefully be worth about 13 pounds or so. So not brilliant items, not massive project profit, but um, steady. I'd say you know we're looking, we're looking probably about hopefully sort of knocking on the door of a hundred pound profit across everything that I picked up. Um, that's if I save some things for, for Christmas and sell them um, towards Christmas time, particularly the Furbies. Um, if I sold the stuff now, I might be sort of 60, 70 pound profit. They do, Molly Granny. They do, do they? All right. I'm going to have a look at what I've got then. I've got mushroom. I think we saw that one. I got... Tomato soup. I've got chicken soup. They're all in really good condition, these as well, which is good. So it'd be well looked after by the previous owner. Um, I have got, I'm never going to be able to wrap these up again. Onion soup. Hey okay, Chris, let's have you with us. Uh, what have we got here? I never got the titles of them myself. Oxtail soup. And then the final one is, just close this notification from the Extreme Booters. Yeah, the classic soup bowl with Lucy. Yeah, and this is um, Scotch broth. So none of that uh, mullet thingy one that you mentioned, uh, South of the Reset, I'm afraid. But yeah, set of six. Looked up sold, £25. Focus, focus on me. Camera, ah, oh, I don't give up. There we go. So, yeah, £6.25. I'll take that all day long. Um, oh, yeah, don't even mention that, yeah. You have seen that uh, post on the, uh, the, the Facebook thing. Um, Chris, yeah, about... Um, yeah, that was quite amusing because he, he started off salting about people saying they spent £20 and they're going to get 200 And then um, and then he tries to change his mind um, towards the end and say, oh, no, I was talking about Americans. So I did point out that, you know, it said pounds and not dollars. Um, so, yeah, I think he's just trying to sort of desperately back paddle there, back paddle there. But, yeah, I know it's this big close we're going to now. I think he's upset Nick and Angie. Um, so, yeah. Let's just have a look. Do do. What we got? Yeah, just quick catching up on the chat. Yeah, murder again. Yeah, DBG. Yeah, 
just sold the white Furby. Must have been a lucky sale. I think I'm doing all right on the sales. Um, I think I've had three today already, three or four. Um, I do normally get about seven or eight on Sunday, so I'm hoping for a few more later. But yeah, I've been okay. Yeah, I did backtrack extremely quickly. Let me start to someone send me screenshots. All right, yeah, of the conversation. Yeah, it, it didn't go as badly as it could have done. Um, I was quite restrained in my response. I simply asked this chap, did he have some examples of the YouTube channels he was referring to? But then I've noticed that um, a few um, other people have, since the conversation closed for for commenting, a few people have put up separate posts now, so it's still rumbling on. Don't watch people's videos, don't like it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, and, and certainly don't be trying to, you know, create controversy in the chat chat. You know, we've only just recovered from last night's troll gates where people were incorrectly saying that Shrek is an ogre. It's well known that Shrek is a troll. Um, I, I even pre I even pulled out an eBay listing showing Shrek was a troll to prove my point. I always love to complain on such that. Yeah, I just... Uh, yeah, it's getting a bit like a, a daily sort of um, thing at the minute. I don't know. So people are complaining about all sorts. No, DBG is a, is a troll. I've decided he's a troll. And that is the key criteria for being able to watch me live. You must agree that he is a troll. Otherwise, YouTube will ban you from YouTube forever. Um, yeah, let's just see if I missed anything in the chat. In the, in the chat. Sales have been rubbish. Sold the white Furby. Did do. Yeah, I've gone through that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking out for this mullet gets our wine. I can't say it. One, I'm happy with the six I've got. Six of those have sold for twenty five. So I'm good. I'm, I'm good with that. Um. So yeah, that'd be fine. Cool. No, Chris is a troll. Definitely a troll. YouTube will ban you if you say that Shrek is an ogre. It's a true fact that YouTube do ban people for that. Um, yeah, so that was it. That was the pickups. It, it's not an it's not an ogre. It's a troll. Being too ill to do any listing. YouTube is going to ban all of you. You know, you got to be really careful these days on 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 the uh, on, on the um, on the thing. You know really careful Corey was sending me videos last night where Shrek was claiming to be an ogre the poor chap doesn't even know what he is you know I feel sorry for him but yeah he's a troll he lives under a bridge it's scientific fact and I put my head through the wall I'm sure it's not the first time that wall must have taken a lot of abuse DBG but yeah anyway yeah so a little bit of research for me I reckon this gruffalo chap must have somebody in him Everyone loves the Gruffalo, but yeah, the puppy loves the Gruffalo, he's not allowed near it. Um, but yeah, not leaving these plushies at 50p. He lives in a swamp, exactly, exactly. And what do you use to get across the swamp? Bridges. Point proven. Thank you, Gemma, for agreeing with me. So yeah, it's not a Gruffalo, it's a unicorn. It, it, I remember when the Gruffalo first came out. And this is the Gruffalo. It turns out to be a nice chap. And this is Bambi, not the Lion King as well, for that matter. Um, so, yeah. And Minnie Mouse. But actually, Chris, while you're there, you may be able to help me. Where have I put that monkey? Where's that monkey gone? That's not the monkey. Oh, why can I find it? Here we go. Chris, in your knowledge of plushies, have you come across this chap? Because I recognise him. <laughs> I've paid £2 for this chap, mostly because he makes a sound. Uh, and I'm hoping that he's actually worth some money, but there's no, um, unless there's one. Well, it's CE compliant. Oh, hang on. There's a thing here. Let's get it off. Let's get it off. What's it say? Which IMC toys? 
but that tells me nothing. And it's a monkey, but that's helpful. Fur fish, fair fresh monkey. Well, at least I can look that up now, anyway. They've done these sounds. That's like saying I live in a roundabout when it's half a mile down the road. It's Rex a troll, right? Steve Green agreed with me as well. Yeah, so that's at least. Uh, and I, I did a Mugabe style count on the votes, and there were more votes for Shrek being a troll. Just putting big, scary laugh. I like it, does have like weird eyes, like they go from side to side, but yeah, no, it needs a little bit of a no, he's all right. Actually, he doesn't need that much of a clean, he's fine. I think he might need. I've got one of those um wire suede cleaner bus brushes that Sue recommended now. Um, so thanks for that recommendation, Sue, um, because I'll be able to practice that on this blush later. Now, it looks like a club pets monkey. That could be it. I don't know. I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna to have to look that up. Steer is a troll, possibly. Yeah, I, I'm sure Fifty Trooper Matt uh, picked up one the other day. I'm sure there was one on one of his videos. I might go back and have a look at those. Um, but yeah, and we've also got our vintage Tommy 1980s rabbit. Which oh, here we go, Dotty Dog. Which hopefully is going to make me a rich man. But it's probably going to be worth nothing. Yeah, anyway, that's it. That was the haul. That was the pickups. No, no, uh, uh, DBG, um, I may have made a mistake. Shrek may, in fact, be an ogre. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he may be an ogre, yes. Um, if, 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 if him being a troll stops, does it shake? Not really, no. I mean, it may have done at one point. It shakes if I, if I shake it myself. Let's have a look. It does a little bit. Yeah, it does shake, actually. Yeah, it does, um, it does vibrate. Ooh, uh. But yeah, DBG is, is definitely an ogre. I'm prepared to lie and say he's an ogre if that means that I have help with the clothes. Yeah. We'll get to the bottom of him anyway. We'll find out what he is. Hopefully, he's going to be worth two hundred pounds, uh, and then I can send it to 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 that chap on the on the tat chat and say, "Look, we've made two hundred pounds." Yeah, I fully agree, DVG. If it makes you happy, he's an ogre. Yeah, that's it. Few fris. It did say few fris on it. Uh, Chris, is it worth a fortune? I hear that monkey in the middle of the night and walking out my house and setting fire to it. Tell you what, if I'm in your house in the middle of the night, Gemma Lou, you want to be worrying more about more about, about more than just the monkey. Anyway. Yeah, so that's it. More research for me to do. Um a few plushies. I'll probably bundle up the Disney plushies together and just sell them. Um and see what we get. That's it, yeah. Fubris Club Pets. Yes, excellent. I find it. Not worth a lot. Oh, it better be worth more than the two pounds. Yeah, I, I hate I hate how long plus you say. I finally sold for those who watched me live the other the other week where Eeyore featured. I finally sold Eeyore. I had to take an offer of nine pounds for him and he cost me one pound fifty. So it only made me a couple of pounds, but he's gone. I'm so happy to see him go. Um and I had positive feedback from the buyer as well, saying her granddaughter was really happy with um, with the purchase. So that that made it worthwhile. You know, I brought a, a, a smile to what I assume is a child's face um, in a good way. So yeah, that'll uh, that's a, that sort of thing makes it worthwhile. So yeah, anyway, there we go. That was it. Um, thank you for joining the live chat. We had Twenty odd of you. Um, it's a shame Ads couldn't make it. I could have wound him up by saying I've picked up stuff worth a million pounds at his local car boot. But uh, if he's watching this back, Ads, I've made a million pounds from your indoor car boot. In fact, I might Instagram later to tell him that. Um, but yeah, uh, unless there's no more questions in the chat, I will say goodbye then. Um, and I'll probably see you all later on, uh, on Nick's channel.
um yeah i think he's on tonight so uh yeah thanks for five to ten pounds well i'm definitely going for ten pounds then if he's worth he's gonna be with no offers it'd be 9.99 we'll put on a full vibrating action and all sorts Traction over troll troll goodbye how do i end this thing